What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. And welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1, I mean Mortal Kombat 12, rant video. And in this video, I have to ask and talk about the fact of just how lazy is Mortal Kombat and NRS, their creators? Just how lazy are the people that work on these games? For real. So recently, NetherRealm Studios hosted a combat cast and they showed off one of their new DLC characters, being Peacemaker. And the whole time I was sitting there thinking, this is literally just a skin swap of Robocop with a few minor tweaks. It's like they were looking at Robocop from MK11 and they said, you know what, we'd like to put him in MK12. How can we go about to do that? Oh, well, hey, guess what? You know, we got this, you know, deal that's pending when they were, you know, way back when in development. We'll get this deal that's pending for Peacemaker, a.k.a. John Cena. And look, no disrespect to John Cena. Shout out to him. You know, kudos to him for all his, you know, trophies and awards and everything else that he's done and all the accolades and everything he's been in. Great wrestler, very charismatic. So... All the credit in the world to John Cena for everything he's done. Nothing in this is to rail against him. But it's like they were looking at that and thought, hey, we got this, you know, character we're trying to put in the game, aka Peacemaker. Let's just, you know, make a couple minor tweaks. Reskin Peacemaker. Oh, boom, there we go. Nice and easy. AKA lazy. I mean, just every single time I sit here just scratching my head. And then Janet Cage? Really? Like, are you freaking kidding me right now? Janet Cage. You really had to go there? And then on top of that, it looks like you gave Janet Cage every single move from Johnny Cage in the original Mortal Kombat 1 arcade. High punch, low punch, nut punch, uppercut. Yep, check. All there. I mean, like, for real? I'm trying very hard not to curse so as not to upset the Skynet gods. But just, really? That's how y'all had to do it? I mean, come on now. And then, to make matters even worse, on top of that combat cast, they also showed off the new Season of the Huntress. And shout out to Realm of Rage TV, aka Rage King. I'll leave a link to his channel. He did an absolutely fantastic rant video, so shout out to him. But just, he was talking about just how lazy the artwork and everything else that they did in this game was. And you know what? I agree. It kind of looks like as if I took a character sprite from one of the games, installed it into Mario Paint, and told my eight-year-old daughter, okay, go crazy. Decorate it any kind of way you want. Whatever your heart desires. I mean, like... Seriously, Netherrealm, this is the best that y'all art designers can do. Remember this, and remember this. I'll talk about them in a moment. But, like, for real, that's how y'all are going to do your season of the Huntress. And if you want to see what all I'm talking about and what it looks like, just go into Google, type in MK1 Combat League Season of the Huntress Skins. Again, that is MK1 Season of the Huntress Combat League Skins. Type it in some way in that way for Mortal Kombat 1, a.k.a. Mortal Kombat 12. You can find it online. And speaking of, while we're talking about the new skins that they have, they also, for purchase, for the small, small cost of... 600 Dragon Crystals for a MK3 Sub-Zero or a thousand for an MK Deadly Alliance Sub-Zero or Scorpion. You could purchase a new costume, which is supposed to be replicated from either this game, MK3, though I'm playing UMK3 for the Super Nintendo. Oh, it's an original hardware here, by the way. But I think it's supposed to be based off the original, you know, arcade port. <laughs> As Melinda breaks the mirror. <laughs> like her friendship. But it's like, 
It almost looks like someone just did a really, really bad cosplay. Like someone was signed up to go to a, you know, a Comic-Con or something like that and was like, oh crap, I want to wear a costume. So they went to the dollar store and they managed to scrounge it up or maybe they, you know, painted some stuff on them and they're like, oh, boom, there it is. There's my, you know, there's my costume. That's, you know, kind of the exactly the way it looks. I mean, it just looks just, just lazy, just awful. I love that sound effect. Gobbling everything up. Go Molina. But just, and you can look that up as well yourself if you type in MK3 skins for Mortal Kombat 1 for sale. Mortal MK3 skin for sale in Mortal Kombat 1. You can find it. Wow, nice anti-air. <laughs> Uh, sure, we'll do this one again. That's fine. But just, I keep walking away from all these things between the design of Peacemaker and the moves that he has, between Janet Cage and her cameo moveset, between the new skins for this new combat league, which, by the way, when they talked about in that combat cast... The new Combat League skins were not going to be for the DLC characters, a.k.a. Peacemaker. But as I understand it, most of the time, when the game originally launches, a lot of the DLC characters that are going to come out are either in the works or some of them are already done. So you're going to tell me that when you were working on these Combat League skins, you couldn't have included a couple because, you know... Like, oh, hey, look, we're going to release this, you know, combat season league skins at such and such time. So, you know, you couldn't have thrown together one for the new DLC character, too. And it seems like that just kind of would have made sense. Like, oh, new DLC character, new combat league skin. Hey, let's, you know, include him. Oh, my man. Oops, I guess I got my butt kicked in that one. Oh, well. Or heck, even have gone back one and said, okay, well, you know what, since we're going to have this combat league, well, the most recent character before him, why not give him some, you know, of the, you know, new combat league skins? So that way people will, like, you know, have a reason to, you know, go back to one, maybe give, like, Omni-Man a new combat league skin for this new season that you're releasing. I mean, it's just... It just constantly strikes me as lazy. Like, what do these people do all day? Are they working that hard on this? I don't know. Maybe NRS needs to pay these people more. Maybe instead of all the money that these giant mega, you know, mutual fund holdings, you know, companies or people own, maybe they need to take a slight pay cut and, you know, let the, you know, little grunt working at NRS as the art designer, whoever, the team of people, maybe give them, you know, a few more bucks. Why not? Forgive me, I gotta sit here and kind of focus for a second. Show you a whole bunch of fatalities here again. But, like, I've been talking about this whole time and just kind of re-harping on, and sorry if I'm doing it. Sounded like a broken record here. Again, this is just a rant style video. No script, just some ideas of what I want to talk about in my head before I hit record, playing the game while I'm talking. So kind of live reaction as we take on Jade. Hopefully we can beat her. Oop, I think we got her this time. Sure, we'll do the friendship again. That's fine. I like Jade anyway. Actually, truth be told, Jade's actually my favorite character in the entire Mortal Kombat franchise, so... No harm or disrespect to Jade. And you know what? Let's actually touch on that real quick. Why Peacemaker and why all these, you know, guest DLC characters from other universes? Like, don't you guys have to pay a big, you know, licensing slash royalty fee for their likeness and usage and everything else? Like, do you guys have to pay John Cena a bunch of money now? to hire him as, you know, someone in the game. 
So, you know, why the constant usage of all these guest characters? Why could you have, you know, Jade in the game? You know, day one. Or why not have Cabal or some of these other people? Why do we always have to have a new guest character? I mean, you know, Peacemaker? Truth be told, I don't know much about the series, but, you know, it just seems like just a, you know, cheap marketing ploy to try to keep the, you know, random, you know, casual, interested in the game, try to get their credit card, hope that, oh, hey, look, new purchasable skins for, you know, the two, you know, poster childs of M MK, Scorpion and Sub-Zero, hey, Dragon Crystals, oh, look, there you go, now you gotta sign up for your wallet even more, and it's just, I've been a lifelong fan of Mortal Kombat all my life, playing it since way back when, on the arcades, and especially these versions on the Super Nintendo, and to see how far it's fallen just makes me sad. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Comment below. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts, let me know down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Till next time.